What's going on guys, Nick Dark here. This is gonna be a trade review video on AUD JPY. Uh, so this was a really good trade this week and I'm gonna cover exactly how we found it and why we executed, where we executed, and how we chose our TP levels and stop loss. Okay, so just off the bat, I wanna bring your attention over to uh, the daily time frame on AUD USD, I mean AUD JPY. So if we zoom out, first thing that we wanna do is identify the trend. So we can see that this is very bearish key level here is the monthly, right? So we gone ahead and labeled the monthly, you know, brought our awareness to this level, and we could see that this was a prior lower high. So price action came back up and is still bearish because it's respecting this level where we saw our prior lower high. So this was more or less just a 100% retracement back up to that level. It's simply testing that same level again. Uh, we would have gone to a bullish sentiment if we had seen this monthly zone, this blue zone right here, break, retest, give us a higher low, but we didn't. So you know, we then decided to drop down timeframes once price action got close to that level. So here on the four hour. Uh, and then we saw that price action was stalling a little bit. We started getting some consolidation. Uh, we started getting some transitions on an even lower time frame. So I started dropping down timeframes to the one hour when I saw these wicks here. So I decided to drop down timeframes to the one hour. And then I noticed consolidation. So price action had then reached this level Right, at re right around 76.75, and then just started going sideways, right? And then we saw our first lower high on this time frame. Price action broke through this level here, came back retested, another lower high confirmed at this point. Uh, so we were then, you know, looking towards these micro bearish movements, these lower time frame bearish transitions. So we want this to turn into a four hour transition and then a daily transition and so on. So it turns into a much larger move. Because again, the larger moves happen on the higher time frames. So right now this was a one hour transition that we saw. Now here, this is starting to become more of a move, right? We get this huge bearish push, uh, then we get a flag pattern. So this is the flag pole, bearish flag. So bearish flag pole, here's the flag, and then it decided to drop. So at this point of the flag, we saw another pattern, a head and shoulders pattern on a four hour. So this signifies a huge reversal and that price action is getting ready for a much larger move. So we can see here, this is the left shoulder, then this would be the head, this would be the right shoulder. And then we decided to take an entry uh, based on multiple confluences here. So we saw that we had lower time frame transitions. We had this monthly resistance level there that we had been seeing rejection from. Uh, we clearly have a few lower highs in a row. We have this head and shoulders pattern. We have an MA cross. And there was even a fib level in here if you were then you know, fibbing from this lower high to this low. This was a fib level, let me just show you. This level here to this level, right? This was a 50% fib level, price action rejected twice, gave us tons of exhaustion on the back end of news. So on this huge exhaustion and the break of this flag pattern, I entered on the right shoulder. I put out a signal, I'll drop to the 30 minute and show you guys even you know, better why we entered. Uh, two, uh, it was a large bearish engulfing, two in a row. This one had a large wick, but it didn't break the pattern. This was a large bearish engulfing through the MAs, and then another large bearish candle closing outside of the pattern. We entered on that. Uh, pretty much no drawdown. It crossed through the MAs and then kind of held as resistance all the way down to our final TP at uh, about 222 pips lower. So our stop loss was 80 pips outside of this key zone here that we saw break and outside of this right shoulder, above the right shoulder that is. So 80 pips to get 222. This was a 2.78 risk to reward, very good trade. And we chose this because this level to target because this was the trend line, the, the upper trend line of this daily channel. So look, take a look guys. See, this was the upper trend line that we had targeted and it was also the 50% FIB level of this four hour FIB. So if we drop to the four hour, this was a four hour fib from this leg, the conviction of this leg here. So it, this is the leg that pushed and broke through the weekly. So we fit from this low to this high. I'm sorry, I think this was a daily fib actually. Daily fib, so this was the conviction right here. So it pushed through from the low to the high, came back to the 50% and the upper trend line of this bearish channel. So that was our target, that's why we chose that. And let's just see how it played out. Right, it came right down to our level. It went 10 pips past it and then reversed. So basically no drawdown. It went straight to our final TP, 222 pips uh, in the bag. If you risked 1%, you would have got 2.78 in return. Uh, huge trade, 
absolutely great. The community enjoyed it. Let's just cover real quick the process that uh, went into putting out this trade. So let's go ahead and find AJ Short. Here it was. This was that left shoulder. This was the head. This was that flag forming. So this was that bear, the flagpole, bearish flagpole here. Then the flag had formed. So I put this out in premium analysis, letting our members know that a potential trade was getting ready. This is not the signals channel. This is the premium analysis channel, which complements the signals. It's kind of our signals are like a three part package. So uh, first it will be the premium analysis. So I'll let you guys know when a trade is setting up. Uh, and then as it develops, we'll keep you updated. And then so we put that out, letting people know that there may be a potential trade here. Uh, and then finally, it executed. So here's the, the trade that we put out a chart with every single trade. Uh, here it is. You know, this was the right shoulder. We entered on the break of the flag after that exhaustion, evening star, tons of confirmations. Uh, and then we had entered on that. And then we set our suggested TP levels and our final TP level all the way down uh, near 72.7. So guys, this was absolutely a great trade. You can see here we had hit all TP levels, use 1% risk. We gave our stop loss uh, entry, time of entry, and uh, we manage along the way. So I'm giving updates. As you can see, this is AJ updating. Uh, you know, a few hours, 12 hours, I believe, actually, after entry was given. Keeping people updated. Here's another chart updating. We're heading towards our final TP and so on. And then we, you know, give suggested um, management tips along the way. So AJ, AJ hit TP5. That was the complete trade. I suggested close 80%. Uh, you can close all trades or close 80% of the trade and hold for a TP6 at 71.8, which is still very likely uh, the way this is going. This was a huge pullback. So let's go ahead and fib from low to high. I mean, from, from high to low. It came back and almost hit the 61.8. Plus the 200 EMA is right there. The neckline is there. This was a really good retracement, and then it continued to drop. So the likelihood of this continuing into a larger move is pretty high. So what was our TP6 that we suggested was 71.8. Uh, down here, very, very likely that we'll get there. Again, that's also in the area of the 61.8 level, uh, FIB level. So this would be a good retracement to get to. Again, it's still looking super bearish, guys. Really, really great trade. And this has been another trade review on AUDJPY. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.